there is only one thing in this world that is more beautiful than the scene before you. Boom. This folding knife right here. And guys, thank you for watching The Knife Whisperer. And remember, I love you. Well, hello YouTube boys and girls. Knife Obsessor here. And today I got a quick little review of the Civivi Vexor. Now this knife is not really that new. I think it came out um the end of last year. And um but you don't see any reviews on this knife. I think there's like three or four. I think Kevin Cleary did one. LTK, um, and actually I can't think of any others really, but this is a uh, huge departure from what Civivi usually does. Um, this is a bruiser knife, usually their stuff is uh, pretty light and thinly ground, thin blade stock. As you can see on this, this is a beefy blade stock here. So what we have here is a 4 inch blade of D2 and um, this is a flat grind and um, a lot of their these Civivi knives are a hollow grind and they're super thin behind the edge now um, being that this is a uh, 0.16 blade stock it's still pretty decently thin behind the edge I measured down here to about the mid midpoint here at 21 thousandths and up at the tip it gets to around 24 thousandths so uh, that's still pretty decent for a production budget knife, but um, being a thicker blade stock, this knife actually has more of a, a drop shutty action than the other ones do. Um, the uh, the detent is pretty light on this though. I mean, you have to kind of think about when you flip it to get it to fly out there. I mean, it's pretty um, pretty easy to fail this, you know. But with it having this hole here in the blade. You can thumb flick it. Well, usually I can do it. You can spidey flick it. So this is a very fun fidget knife for Civivi. I've had a lot of fun playing with this. Um, then we have G10 handle. These are all Torx T8 hardware on here and you can see the texturizing on the G10 here is different too it's like a almost like a, what you'd find on like a burlap micarta texturizing and um, I like it you know it's a little different it gets great traction really nice a um, almost full about three quarters full uh, back blades uh, geez, I'm back spacer here I gotta learn how to talk today I've been a little out of it today I think I'm getting a cold or maybe it's the Rona uh, I hope not, but I guess we'll find out. And um, the texturizing is really nice. It's different, you know. As you can see, it has awesome contouring all around here, chamfering. You got your uh, standard deep carry Civivi pocket clip there. Now, when I originally got this knife, I didn't really care for the look of it, I don't know, but it's starting to grow on me. And, um, it's, like I said, this is a fun knife. We have a weight of 5.3 ounces, so it's not a lightweight knife. But for the size of it, that's not bad. This is a just over 9-inch knife. Like I said, at a 4-inch blade with a .16 blade stock. I mean, a 4mm blade stock. So, 5.3 is not really that bad. But it is, um, does have the full steel liners. It is a liner lock. Running on barons, of course. Like I said, super smooth. And um, you can pick this bad boy up for $59.95 at most dealers. But if you go to White Mountain Knives and use LTK for a uh, password code, it will drop it down to 53 bucks. That is if they have any in stock. But um, that's a killer deal, guys. This thing is this is a great knife. If you're looking for a hard use, hefty budget knife made by Civivi. This is the one to go with right here. This thing is 
great knife for um, your uh, harder use tasks. May they, may they be few or a lot. This thing will tackle them and just destroy them and tell them to get out of Dodge all day long. Great knife for under $60. You can't go wrong, guys. And like most of these, it comes with a case, your cleaning cloth, what have you. Um, so what I'm thinking, guys, is for when I get to 500 subs, this is going to be the uh, knife that I do a giveaway on. I'm pretty sure. We'll see what happens in between there. But um, you can uh, get this knife in um, this green. It comes in a blue, black, and also a tan. Um, so a lot of colors to choose from. So Vivi's really good with uh, their options. You know, they usually have something for everyone, you know, as far as colors, you know, blade finishes. And, uh, geez, uh, they must be up to, like, 50 different models that they've done now. Um, great, great company. Of course, you probably know that it's uh, We Knife Co.'s budget brand, Civivi. And um, pretty much everything that Civivi has been putting out has been gold. You know, their designs, the fit and finish, and just the... Uh, Everything you're getting for the money is just absolutely awesome. They've always been centered. I've never gotten a Civivi that's not been centered. Or Wii's for, for that matter, you know. So their um their quality control is second to none, especially in the budget world. Um great, great knife. This one almost feels like it's like a hundred dollar knife because of the action and just the, the heftiness of it. This does not feel like a cheap cheap knife by any means. And um, like I said, with the hole and being on Barron's, this is definitely a fidget-friendly knife. Really good one to go with, guys. And then, uh, it's not very popular for some reason. I don't know. But um, I wanted to get this video up and show you guys the Civivi Vexer. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you already haven't. And as always, we got to do the flex. Oh, yeah. We got to do the hug. Come here, child. Well, that's creepy. I'll let you go now. Knife Whisperer, out.